Delaware Valley's leading news program. All right, Health Check tonight. The holidays are known as the best time of the year, but for people in recovery from drugs or alcohol abuse, the season can be especially difficult. House reporter and registered nurse Allie Gorman talked to two women who have both beaten addiction and about how others can stay clean and sober during the holidays. Allie. Yeah, Rick and Monica, it can be a dangerous time of year. In fact, December is the most lethal month for people with substance abuse problems. And it's not just about being around alcohol at parties. It has more to do with seeing people from your past and dealing with expectations. The most wonderful time of the year comes with a hectic schedule and a lot of reconnecting with family and friends. Maggie Hunt and Grace Schober say back when they had just gotten clean after years of drug and alcohol abuse, the holidays were difficult. In early sobriety was like something that I almost dreaded. Grace says it wasn't the temptation to drink, it was the anxiety of facing family she had hurt in the past. Because I did a lot of bad things. so. It's not good to feel that way. It's not good to feel like I've hurt this person. Now I'm kind of around them, so it was difficult. But now, four and a half years sober, she says things do get easier. Maggie is almost 10 years clean. Both now work helping others at Retreat, an addiction treatment center in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. They have tips to help this season. After all, there are 22 million Americans in recovery from substance abuse. First, be proud of your sobriety. I think that there's a lot of guilt and shame for people when they first try to get sober, and I want to kind of like slash that stigma because anymore getting sober, people are so proud of you to get sober. Also, avoid risk factors and enlist sober friends. You want to have a list of like five to ten people that you could call if you're just not feeling good, if you're feeling on like unsteady ground. If you are struggling, I think that that's the most important thing is just to ask for help. Um, it is okay that you're struggling around this time and like silence is not helping anybody. Both also suggest keeping a list of things you're grateful for. My children, my job, my friends, my health. For them, their family is a reminder of the reason they stay clean. And a few more tips they tell others to keep going to AA and NA meetings during the holidays and especially if you're alone. And then also don't isolate yourself. Even if you feel like isolating yourself, make sure that you reach out to others for help. Rick and Monica. Good All right. advice. Thank you, Allie.